Hi guys and welcome to Diving Down Under. In this episode I'm going to be looking at one of the most fundamental questions that people keep asking me as an instructor. It is, how long does a scuba diving tank last? Well, it's a bit of a catch-22 because how long does a battery last? It depends on what you're using the battery for and how big the battery is. Same with a scuba diving tank, it depends how big the tank is and well, how deep you're taking it. If we know those two things, we can give you a rough guess of how long the tank is going to last. Now, to know this, we really need to go a little bit into scuba diving, into the physics of it. And I'm going to start with Boyle's Law. Now, Boyle's Law basically states that if the pressure increases, the volume will decrease, and vice versa. So if we apply Boyle's Law to diving, when we're on the surface, the pressure we are currently experiencing is one bar or one atmospheric pressure. Now that is the weight of the air that is pressing down upon us, all the way from space pretty much. So that equates to one bar or one ATM, one atmospheric measure. So water is around 800 times denser than air. All we have to do is drop down 10 meters and we have got a bar of pressure on top of us in water plus the bar of pressure on top of us in air gives us a two bar pressure at 10 meters. So at 30 meters there is four bar pressure because we have got three bar of pressure above us plus the bar of atmospheric pressure pressing down on the water as well. So that gives us a total of four bar pressure. So to prove this, I've got a Coke bottle and I've filled it with air completely at the surface. As you can see, the bottle top is off and I'm going to take it down to 30 meters. Now, as you can see at 30 meters, there's about a quarter of the air in the air space. Now, there's the same amount of air in that bottle as there is on the surface. However, the water has compressed the air to a quarter of its original density or four times denser than it would be on the surface. Now this is the fundamentals to scuba diving. Let us pretend that that Coke bottle there is our lungs. If we are down at 30 meters, we are going to need three quarters more air of that depth than it would do on the surface. So our lungs, our volume in our lungs hasn't changed. It still requires the same amount of volume to fill them. So as with the coke bottle, our lungs are compressed, or as you're scuba diving, the air is compressed more in our lungs the deeper you go. So what we need to do is we need to take in more air per breath, and this causes the tanks to drain faster. In fact, four times faster at 30 meters than on the surface. So next time someone asks you, how long does a scuba diving tank last? You can say, at what depth? And when they go, why is that important? You have your answer. I hope this has been an entertaining episode for you guys. Diving physics is never the most riveting subject to uh, try and get across. But I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And always remember, ascend slowly and never hold your breath. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.